Hey friends, I'm sorry, do excuse me. I've got to put sunglasses on because it's really bright. Okay, in the Dutch oven, we've got the carrots and the parsnips. We've got the whole bulb of garlic and we've got half a litre of vegetable stock. <coughs> excuse me, and a couple of um, rosemary sprigs as well. They're already in there. The chicken's on top of that. I just want to grease the chicken and salt it just so we can get some nice crisp skin. Little trick, when you finish your butter, fold up the wrapper, pop it in your fridge. Um, and then use that, you can use it to grease baking trays when you're making cakes or whatever. That's a trick my mommy taught me. So just wipe some of that butter on. You can obviously use oil, coconut oil or lump of butter, whatever you've got. It doesn't matter, it's just that's my handy little tip of the day. And then just take a little bit of salt and sprinkle that over the skin of the chicken. And as we know, salt equals crispy skin. Oh, a couple more sprigs to go on inside. Dutch oven on and then I'm going to take over the camera while Johnny sets the Dutch oven up. Okay there he goes he's just hooked it on over the fire and now we need to put some coals on top. And my beautiful assistant is just <laughs> burning himself. <laughs> Sorry I'm not laughing. Perfect thanks Johnny and um, we're going to test that in 30 minutes make sure everything is looking hunky-dory in there and it's going to take for the weight of the chicken that we've got it's going to take about an hour and a quarter to cook. There's our chicken, it's all cooked. Um, with thanks to the therm pen, we know that it's safe to eat. And we're gonna have this for tea with hot baguettes and salad, and it's gonna be really, really tasty. See you soon.